everybody and welcome to day one of Bookmas. I was just about to get ready to go and do some book shopping and I thought this would be the perfect place to start this year's Bookmas. I'm really excited to be doing this little series here. So we're going to be doing Bookmas, we're going to be doing 12 days. So I'm going to upload from the 1st to the 12th of December every day like book related content, cozy content. And I am really excited. I have some cute videos planned and coming up. We're gonna have a mix of vlogs, reading vlogs, cozy content, book videos, of course. And I'm just excited. So I'm literally, like I said, about to get ready to go book shopping. I obviously need to pick up some Christmassy books. So we can do that, but there's also some other books that I want to see if I can pick up as well that aren't Christmassy. <laughs> I get bored of them in love because I play them like on a loop. So we are on the hunt for some cute little holiday romances. I am going to go to the works and I want to see if I can find some cute little Christmassy festive books. I normally don't particularly love them to be honest. So I'm going to go to the works because they are cheaper, they might have some deals and we can see if we can find some there. And there are also some other books that I want to see if I can pick up. Like the new Lauren Asher book, even though I didn't really like the Dreamland Billionaire series. I mean I literally only read the first book. But her new book is meant to be quite good so I want to pick that up and also Wildfire by... Hannah Grace. I have heard such good things about that so I really want to pick that up but yeah main thing on the agenda is some cute Christmassy books but I don't really love them. I don't know what it is but like I feel like of course they're going to be cringe but I feel like they're all very much the same. I do prefer like a Halloweeny spooky rom-com over a Christmassy one which is maybe a bit weird maybe a bit of an unpopular opinion but I still want to get some, obviously, because we want to be in the festive Christmassy spirit. So let's go and have a look. Hopefully we'll find some. Okay, guys, I did secure the goods. I will remove those so that you can see a little bit better. But I have some mugs and candles and stuff in here as well. So you can't really see but i got a lot of books guys like i got more than i thought i would i was in there for so long the lady was like laughing at me not in like a bad way she was lovely the girls in the works near me are literally angels they're so nice but yeah she was laughing at me a little bit i already had like all of my christmas wrapping paper candles things like that so i had a bag that was so heavy already and i was like hoisting it over my shoulder and everything was clattering about and she was like um do you do you want me to go and get you like a trolley the trolleys that the kids use for the arts and crafts i was like i'm okay i think i'll manage and then when i got to the till she was like oh we're we doing a bit of christmas shopping i was like <laughs> they're all for me and she was like love it and then we were talking about like elsie silver because all of the chestnut springs series books are in the works for like two pound fifty which is a steal i paid like eight pound per book i think off amazon so if you're in the uk get yourself down to the works but yeah i did get a few books i had to go and get one of them from the back for me because it wasn't out i did feel kind of bad but i mean i bought quite a few books for them i'll give you a full haul when we are at home but they were just lovely we were having like a little chat about booktubers she was talking about steph and I was saying like you should watch Sarah and Destiny. Okay, let's go home and then I can show you all of the things that I got. Okay, I'll give you a little quick mini book haul because I'm actually going to do a full video on books, book haul, my last book haul of the year. But I did pick up quite a few, more than I originally went in for. I literally wanted to get like two or three Christmassy romances and I suppose them two were kind of what I went in there for as well. But we got quite a few, but I only spent £23, I think, 
on all of these books. The Works is such a steal, like I love The Works. I don't know what the equivalent of Works is in like America or Europe, I have no idea, but I hate to say it for years of missing out. I'll give you a quick little mini rundown, a quick little haul. We'll go through the Christmassy ones first. So I've got four Christmas books because I have also ordered one off Amazon. So I've got four from the works to show you. But this is what I've got about. They have a three for six pound deal or the books are two pound fifty each. So I ended up getting these four. I ended up getting nine books and I think the majority of them were in the three for six pound deal apart from two. So it's a no-brainer in my opinion. I'm basically saving money by buying them now rather than waiting. Girl maths. But I got the Christmas Bookshop by Jenny Colgan, I think it is. Then I got Just Like Magic by Sarah Hoggle. Hoggle. And then I got Window Shopping by Tessa Bailey. And then just to switch things up a little bit and get like a cosy mystery thriller, I got Murder at the Theatre Royale. Today I'm a little Christmas reads. I am going to be doing a festive holiday reading vlog type thing so stay tuned to see those in there hopefully i'll get through them all and then the non christmasy books i actually ended up getting five and i only went in for two so yikes but anyways so the two that i originally went in for were love redesigned and wildfire they actually didn't have this one up on the shelves this was one that i had to ask for got to the tail and we were just talking about books and i was like oh yeah i actually came in for the new Lauren Asher book but I couldn't see it out blah, blah, blah. and she was like oh we've got it in the back we just haven't had time to put it out yet but yeah I did not really love the Dreamland Billionaire series like I said I have only read the first one which I think is widely thought of as the worst so maybe if I like this I will go back to the other two but then I got Wildfire by Hannah Grace because I loved Icebreaker I read it I think at the beginning of this year and I was just obsessed and also look at these edges I've never had a sprayed edges book before in my life and I didn't even realise that this had sprayed edges until it was on the counter at the till because I just like picked up off the shelf and was carrying it, didn't even realise but it was so cute. I'm really excited to read this one but I have heard mixed opinions so I hope that I love it and then it doesn't kind of like take away from Icebreak for me. Then I got The Maidens by Alex, I don't know how you say his last name and I really don't want to butcher it but by the author of The Silent Patient because I read The Silent Patient last year and I really did enjoy it. I don't think this one is meant to be as like hyped up as The Silent Patient. I don't think it's as widely loved. But I kind of love reading a thriller in the winter so I had to pick one up. Then I got Practice Makes Perfect by Sarah Adams, I think it is, the stickers covering it. But she is also the author of When in Rome, which I haven't read either of her books. But I think they are just meant to be like cute little fluffy rom-coms and I am currently lacking on the romance book front because I've been reading so much fantasy so I thought I'll just pick this up because again it was in the three for six pound deal and then I got from Lukov with Love I know this isn't like a Christmasy book but this gives me winter vibes don't know if it's a cover or because I'm pretty sure the figure skaters but I'm excited to read this one I feel like I'm very late to the party on this one because this has been out for a while I feel like this is like an OG book top book I actually don't think I've read any Mariana Zapata books before. I'm sure she is like renowned for being like the queen of slow burn. But I'm excited to get to this one and it kind of does fit with like the winter TBR aesthetic. So that is my mini little book haul. Like I said, I will be doing a full end of the year book haul, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so my Amazon one has just came. This is the one that I had ordered off Amazon. So she can join the pile of new books.